Now is that... Yep, that's recording. Okay, had to take a little bit of a break from my uh, series here. <laughs> Alright, so... Now I'm going to do the boring bit of dream interpretation, because you should actually take a minute just to examine it, uh, and take a step back. Once you've figured out... Okay, once you've looked at a dream, and you separate it into people, places, and things, not necessarily in that order for the sake of uh, saving time, you'll usually find that it's a basic wordplay. So you write out all the things uh, as a wordplay. You know, you read, I dreamt about a cart stuck in the mud. So you say, I'm having trouble moving forward. The cart contained a lot of valuable things that were covered under a tarp. I'm having trouble moving the things, things I really value forward. Uh, you know, I was, then you, then you can say, it wasn't until, until it rained that I could uh, get it out of there. This didn't seem to make sense. What you'd write then is, the intervention of an outside force of change, as water often represents, allowed allowed me to get past uh, the obstruction. So, then you'd take a step back and you'd say, I wanted to take value, things I value to a new place and I couldn't do so until an outside force uh, permitted, permitted me to circ circumvent the thing that's holding me back. Then you sit down and you ask yourself, what does that mean? And you say, well, there's a lot going... And then you look at your life in terms of that message. And you say, there is a lot going on. I do think I maybe have skills in the workplace. Maybe I have uh, skills that I think I could bring into my own business. Or I could uh, display to others here on YouTube. Or uh, maybe I have assets that I think will fetch a very good price if I sell them in the right place. And there are obstacles to getting there. And... I feel that I'm spinning my wheels. I feel that I am unable to move forward in the present environment. What I really need is something to change everything so I've got an opportunity. And when you ask yourself, do I really feel like that? Usually the recipient of the dream, if it's one like I was talking about, would say, well, yeah, that is kind of true. This is where a lot of people criti criticize psychics, um, palm readers and the like, because they will often say uh, it's really just psychobabble and useful advice and it's really just a... I think the term is psychosomatic. Anyway, it's just a useful foil uh, for allowing people to work through their own problems. A sounding board, if you would. And though I have to, I have to agree that if the individual is not asking for uh, an incredible amount of money in a lot of, in some cases, in my experience, these people can actually do very good work. Mind you, that's my experience, and I am aware that there are people who have done horrendous things and ripped people off for a lot of money while leaving with more questions than they had answers, and not the good kind that really spurs them on to be better people. So, yeah. That's just how I do it. <clears throat> I find that it's about posing these questions to yourself and your mind is trying to find a way around your own defenses. In fact, these it shows that your defenses are so good, even your own mind is afraid to go up against them. Now, I'm not saying that everybody is going to be ready uh, to get the whole thing in one go. They have defenses. If they didn't, they'd have thought of this with their conscious mind a lot longer ago. What I am saying is... There are people out there that can find that these techniques that I've just this technique that I've just described will give them a different perspective on their troubles, and they give them a very definite way to start uh, in dealing with them. Anyway, I'm Aussie Griffin. This has uh, been my series on uh, dream interpretation. Please, if you know any better techniques or ways to uh, look at dream interpretation, please let me let me know, and uh, I would love to hear about them. I would love to give you some props. So, yeah, I'm Ozzy Griffin. Thanks very much for your time.